President-elect Donald Trump, his nuclear proclamations by tweet igniting uproar. Today, Mr. Trump took it a step further, suggesting he welcomes a new arms race, boasting the U.S. would outmatch any rivals. He also shared what he called a very nice Christmas letter sent by Vladimir Putin. ABC's Mary Bruce with what that letter said. Today, the president-elect teeing off with Tiger Woods, leaving the world to wonder whether he's reigniting a nuclear arms race. It seemed to start with this, Russian President Vladimir Putin vowing Thursday to strengthen the military potential of strategic nuclear forces. Hours later, Trump took it up a notch, tweeting the United States must greatly strengthen and expand its nuclear capability until such time as the world comes to its senses regarding nukes. Expanding the nuclear arsenal would upend four decades of U.S. policy and flies in the face of what Trump himself said in the campaign. The biggest problem we have today is nuclear, nuclear proliferation. Today, newly named White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer scrambling to explain. But other countries need to be put on notice that he is not going to sit back and allow them to undermine our safety, our sovereignty. But Spicer was definitive, saying there is not going to be an arms race. In a phone call with cable news host Mika Brzezinski, the president-elect saying something very different. And the president-elect told you what? Let it be an arms race. We will outmatch them at every pass. Tonight, frustration from nuclear weapons experts. But you don't screw around with nuclear policy on Twitter. Every word matters. These words are rippling around the globe. And this is how arms races start with a war of words. Now Putin is weighing in, saying it's not us who have been speeding up the arms race. And later today, perhaps seeking to dial down the tension, Trump releasing what he called a very nice letter the Russian president sent him last week. Putin extending his warmest Christmas and New Year's greetings, adding he hopes they can act in a constructive and pragmatic manner. And Mary Bruce joins us from Washington now. At Mary, the president-elect isn't just tweeting about nuclear weapons. He's also wading into a battle over Israel playing out in real time at the United Nations. Cecilia, the U.N. Security Council today passed a resolution condemning Israel for building settlements in occupied territory. On Twitter, Trump had pressured the Obama administration to veto the resolution, but instead they abstained from voting. Tonight on Twitter, Trump clearly unhappy, promising as to the U.N., things will be different after January 20th. Cecilia. Okay, Mary, thank you.